everybody, this is day seven, so one week post-op of, of my lumbar fusion, L4, L5. Um, I'm doing really, really well. Today was my first day that I've been able to walk around without a walker pretty much whatsoever. Obviously taking it slow, using good body mechanics, good posture, um, and just being very cautious of what I'm doing. Uh, still wearing pajamas and uh, loose-fitting clothing, comfortable clothing. Uh, today is also the first day that I really cut back on my uh, pain medication, my uh, hydrocodone. So I only took one at like 9 a.m. and then one right now at 6 p.m. So compared to six pills a day, I'm now down to two. So that's really, really good. Um, and I, I just, I feel really good. Today also, this morning I woke up and I noticed a difference. Um, my incision, the burning isn't there. It feels like it's healed, if that makes sense. Like, it still hurts if I'm in certain positions. I have to, I, I have to still be very careful, but, um, it doesn't hurt constantly. Or, like, when I roll in and out of bed, um, it feels a lot better. So, so far, it's, it's really good. To go over from right after I woke up after surgery to today. So right after waking up after surgery, the pain was at like a four to a five. I was in all caps, extremely nauseated and weepy all day um, on, from the Dilaudid. And then, then, I, then I got transitioned to Norco because I was like itchy from the Dilaudid. And, um, the nausea and the weepiness was from the anesthesia and that stayed in my system for like a day and a half. Also, my doctor came and talked to me right after surgery and he said that he discovered two spinal fractures that we didn't know. We couldn't see them from the MRIs, the MRI, so they didn't know that I had anything else besides just my failed disc. So he repaired that and also t did the, the typical fusion. Okay, on to the next day. So this was Thursday. Um, my pain was at like a three, three to four. It was a good day, but in the morning, like they tried to get me to walk. The physical therapist came and I got to about the door and I got really lightheaded and sick because I hadn't eaten anything um, in over 24 hours. And so it, as everything made me nauseated. So I sat down and then I put me back in bed. And then later on that day, I was able to actually walk and I felt pretty good after I'd eaten some stuff and the anesthesia was allowed to kind of get more out of my system. Um, I ate mostly pudding and fluids. Um, the broth made me nauseated, so I like to skip that. And then any like solid foods, I was just like not up for it. Thursday, um, they like had me on Norco 10 milligrams every four hours, and they also had me on Colace, which helps with bowel movements, and I hadn't had a bowel movement yet. And Friday, I got my medication got reduced down to five milligrams of Norco, which later I found on, out like they prescribed me hydrocodone when I actually read the bottle, so I was like, okay, um, and it is taken every four to five hours, four to six hours, depending on pain, when I was pretty much keeping it at every like four hours. Still hadn't had any sort of a bowel movement. Um, and I was also discharged Friday between like 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I can't remember exactly when it was. I was still kind of loopy. Uh, we decided to stay in Valencia again that night because as soon as my grandfather left the hospital, he swerved really hard and it killed my back so I was like nope we're not gonna go all the way to Porterville screw that we're staying in Valencia so we did the next day so Friday Saturday we had headed home I was stronger I felt better like that ride was good um I noticed so many differences like between this surgery and my last surgery like it was like night and day the pain levels and just everything all my reactions every stage of the surgery was completely different um, okay, so, the Saturday, was Friday, 
Okay, so we got home, and I was just, like, between the bed and then up walking a lot with the walker. My friend Sarah came to visit me, and, um, yeah, just kind of pretty much in bed, icing my back, turning on both sides, just making sure I'm kind of loosening it up, making sure I'm walking and whatnot, and, um, just doing the proper body mechanics. I still had pain, of course, but it wasn't super bad. It, this whole surgery, like, it hasn't been super bad, so that was good. Okay, Sunday, my boyfriend came to visit me because he left me. And also Sarah came over, so that was really nice to hang out with both of them. Um, I attempted to try and sit in the recliner, and that didn't work out for me. And I attempted to try and sit in a chair, and I think that worked, but finally we figured out that I could lay on the couch. So I was really happy about that because then I wouldn't be just confined in this room or a bedroom. I could go in the living room and participate in events, so that made me happy. Um, I still couldn't really sit yet because of the pain, like it just, sitting is not good for you anyway. Okay, so then the next day, Monday, like late Monday, I figured out that I was actually able to sit at this point with pillows as support, and I also was able to have my first bowel movement, ooh, fun, TMI. <laughs> Um, but of course that was with aid from this, like, Miralax drink stuff and then the Coles that I've been taking religiously with the pain medication. Um, so I felt a lot, of better, a lot better about that. Um, that was Monday. Okay, Tuesday, which was yesterday. I was feeling a lot better. I was by myself for most of the day. Sarah came over in between her classes and hung out. Um, and the clean lady was here, and I was able to sit in the ch sit in the chair slash like lay on the couch, and then really got my walking in. I have my Fitbit on, so I'm using it to track, make making sure I at least walk a mile a day because that's the goal for the first two weeks. So I'm doing that, um, making sure that I'm drinking a lot of water, and my grandparents have me on like pretty much a vegetarian type diet right now to help me like not gain weight and to kind of like shred this extra water that I have in my body right now um and then last night my grandpa talked to me about kind of weaning off of the pain pills because I need to I'm getting towards the end of them anyway <laughs> so I I was like okay I'll see what I can do but if I'm in pain I'm gonna take more pills but we go back to what I was doing before. So, um, I took them till last night, and then I didn't take the 1 a.m. or the 5 a.m., but I took the 9 a.m., and then I didn't take anything until 6 o'clock right now, um, after dinner. And then I took everything. And, um, so today's been the turning point because like I was able to get in out of bed without my walker, I was able to walk without my walker. I kind of hold on to my back with one hand as just like a pressure support because it feels better when I do that. Um, I've been able to sit in the recliner with pillows and an ice pack and watch some shows but I, I get up and walk because I've got to get my mile in plus you're not supposed to sit very long or lay very long or whatever and I'm at that stage now where I'm walking mostly independently, so it's really good. Um, and so I'm really happy. The pain is, isn't is so bad. So like getting out of bed is a lot easier now. Lifting my legs up, putting my clothes on, um, anything and everything. I'm just, I feel today, like when I, as soon as I woke up, it was like a turning point. So I feel really good about it. Um, okay. So to discuss what happens to me with every single surgery or every single time I've been in the hospital and have had an IV for more than like a few hours. Okay, so the bag of water that they strap onto you that goes into your system has salt or sugar. It's like a solution. And whatever it is, my body's like, whoa. And I gain like all the water that's going in me kind of just stays there. And so, like, I get this huge stomach, and my back swells up, and everything swells. I swell, but mainly it's my midsection that swells really, really bad. 
so I look like I was like four to five months pregnant. It's not a pretty pretty picture at all. And then um, you kind of freak out because it's like this for like the first few days after surgery, and you're just like, "Am I? Did I really gain that weight? What the heck? I haven't eaten anything? What? Huh? What? Ah? Oh? Huh? Yeah. So that was how I was kind of reacting, and everybody around me was reacting that way, which is not nice. Um, but I should know better because it happens to me every single time that I'm going to lose it. So, anyway, basically, I gained between, like, 10 to 12 pounds just from fluid retention because of IV surgery stuff. So, anyway, last night, like, after I went to the bathroom and I kind of was looking at myself in the mirror, like, I kind of turned to my side and I was like, oh my gosh, I can see my ribs again. <laughs> I can see my stomach is going down. Yay! So, and then today, like, I really noticed that my stomach's starting to get back to normal. But there is still, I would say, like, probably three to five pounds of fluid in my midsection, my swelling midsection that needs to go down. Also, my back hasn't completely, like the swelling isn't completely down in my back yet so I figure oh, another week or so uh, my body will be completely normal so I'm excited for that and uh, we'll see how I feel in a week and then I'll let you know but yeah so that's days like day of all the way to one week after my surgery so I, I'm very positive on it. I've watched negative and positive videos on it. And um, so going into surgery, I was really, really scared. But coming out, I'm very happy that I did it. Yeah, it sucks that I have to spend time recovering and slow down and recover and stuff. But I'm very, very happy because the pain that I had before isn't there. And then I just feel more stable in that area. So I'm really happy. Plus, like I said... He fixed two problems that I didn't even know that I had. I did not know that my spine was fractured. He did not know that my spine was fractured. So he said that that was probably what was causing me, like, that great amount of pain. Because nobody, everybody thought, oh my god, she's in so much pain, like that, huh? Like, I was. I was in so much pain. I had a broken back. Yeah, so, anyway. Positive thoughts. But alright, thank you.